How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here. And for today's Dragon Ball Fighters video, I really wanted to take the time and talk about the potential for how DLC will be released in the future, thanks to the addition of something like the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour. Ever since Dragon Ball Fighters was first introduced, we would get our new character information from Shonen Jump, even going as far back as Krillin and Piccolo being announced for the game. And that trend has continued all the way up from then until Fuse Amasu and Vegito Blue. Shonen Jump is usually released once a month, and usually once per Shonen Jump we would get a reveal for characters, and then the next one we would get their release date, as well as more information about them with some new screenshots and stuff like that. This is of course mostly referring to the DLC characters like Bardock and Broly, Vegito Blue and Fusamasu for example, not really stuff before launch. In this way, new information on Dragon Ball Fighters DLC characters was treated more like the way they announced new units for Dokkan Battle, if any of you are familiar with that game. What's interesting to me though is that for this month we really didn't get anything on Dragon Ball Fighters. Well, everything else that usually gets updated in these issues did in fact get some new information released. So while it is entirely possible that they needed to take a month off from announcing information and some of the newer characters they're designing needed a bit more time before they were ready to show off, I personally think that this might be the beginning of when they start to shift away from doing the Shonen Jump reveals to maybe revealing it along with the World Tour stops for Dragon Ball Fighters. I mean, Dragon Ball Fighters wouldn't be the first fighting game to do this by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, it wouldn't even be the first fighting game connected to Bandai Namco to do this. Tekken 7, for example, has announced characters along with their World Tour. Geese is a good example of this as he was announced at EVO, and Noctis is also another example of this. And I think that these announcements proved to be some of the biggest moments for Tekken in terms of what the fans responded to. Whether it was sharing with their friends or posting about it on subreddits, this built a lot of hype within the Tekken community and managed to extend that excitement to a lot of different places, both in the fighting game community and elsewhere. Of course, this is also the case for most fighting game developers that choose to release their DLC information this way. Oftentimes, right alongside with Grand Finals and other exciting moments in the tournament, it's the DLC announcements that really stand out to people and stick with them after the tournament is over. Dragon Ball Fighters may just be trying to get in on some of the benefits that come with announcing these characters at the events. For one, it makes the events a lot more exciting to attend as you know that you might get some new information revealed, you might get a first look at some of the new characters. Personally for me, I know it's definitely more exciting than seeing them for the first time in some scans, even though I really do appreciate the scans, don't get me wrong, but Seeing them in video is definitely super exciting. And of course, there's also the potential benefit of revealing them in a video first, getting that video up on YouTube to spread around to people, and it's just the fact that if the video is what announces that they're coming to the game first, it's going to get more views than if the video comes after they're announced in a scan. Just a byproduct of people being more excited to finally see the characters. Now, I really don't think that this is something that's going to definitely happen at every World Tour event, in fact, I don't think they have enough information to do that for every World Tour event. But something that I think is definitely far more likely is that they'll still do the scans, but maybe for World Tour events they'll try to get some footage for the characters, and that'll be the place where the footage for the characters is first shown off. Sort of like a soft in-between section, where they still have the scans, but also the people attending these World Tour events do get something out of it other than just watching some high-level play. So this is definitely something that I could see happening for Dragon Ball Fighters. Like I said, they've done something similar for Tekken 7. I think it would also do a lot of good for both the events themselves and just for the player base that look forward to these DLC characters. As I'm not sure how many of you know, we've known Season 1 and what the characters are going to be for a while now, so seeing them in scans really isn't too exciting because part of the excitement of the scan is it's supposed to be your first time seeing those characters. But when you already know what's coming, it's hard to get excited about it. The videos, I find, do a much better job of doing that. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on whether or not you'd like to see this happen at World Tour events, or whether you think it's likely or not, down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video and want to see other videos like this from my channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.